Welcome back to the University of Queensland School of Architecture introductory series to Rhino and Grasshopper. Continuing on with our uh, example tower, we're going to now start dividing up these facades to um, start building our shear walls on the north and the south facade. I'm going to oops, now do a divide curve. I'll duplicate that and I'm going to pull in the northern facade through here. I'll pop that in there and then the uh, southern facade will drop that down through here. That will be the curve. The number of divisions will be our rounded figure through here. So that's the number of divisions and then the number of divisions through here. Okay, what we'll try and do is we don't want to populate these end um, columns on, on this facade because this will be picked up with uh, the columns going this way and we're going to keep that empty corner and try and cantilever it between the two so it doesn't become too jammed up in there. To do that we're going to, to do a culling routine like we've done in the past so we'll do a cull index and we'll pull up a panel we'll cull the first of the index through there. Um, we'll get the uh, the line, the list length. Oops, list list length. Ba -ba -ba -ba, here it is, and we'll do a a cull of the number cull nth. So um, that will be the list to cull. In you go there. And before we plug that in, we'll copy, oops, Z, copy, paste. These will be our points here. These will be our points there. Uh, we'll just hide that preview through there. So what I'll do is I'll turn this off and I'll turn that off. And there you go, we've dropped those points from the, the corners. Now what we're going to do is from those points we'll draw a series of lines and the lines will be different uh, lengths according to this series through here. We'll get a line by start, direction and length. Now for the northern facade, which is this one here, the direction, don't forget, will be in the positive x direction and for the southern facade it will be in the negative x direction. So we'll pick up a x, x value through there and we'll copy that, we'll put another x value and we'll get a negative value for that so we'll go x negative and pop that into there okay now what we have to do is to put the start point which will be this here and this there and the length which will be based on this series holding the shift key and this series as well so we're pulling the same series into those so we might just turn off the facades and we'll also turn off these columns where did they go just to see what's going on so we're getting the I'm going to turn that off and that off as well so it's kind of working but it, it doesn't seem to be populating up through the whole th way so there's there's a problem with the uh, it's hard to say there seems to be a problem with um, the data so I'm going to graph this one and this one and that hopefully should fix our issue so if we get these to the extreme 
and that to the minimum. We should see a long line at the bottom and a short line at the top, which is, seems at what we've got. It's a bit clearer when you look at it through there, the way that it's it's sweeping up. Cool. What we'll now do is create our geometry of our fins. Now for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another number slider and I'm going to do this the CLT fin width just for now and we'll give ourselves a maximum range of around 750 or oh, less than that 500 okay now what I'm going to do, it might seem a bit cumbersome but it's probably the, the easiest um, is I'm going to offset each of these set out lines um, to the one direction by half of the width of the fin extrude it up for the height of the fin and then extrude it across to give us the thickness of the fin so I'll just start by moving all of these set out lines across so we'll be going in a Y unit direction and I'm going to go back this way so that will be a negative so I'll pop that in there I'll do a divide now some some people might argue well, why do you do these um, values here if you're just going to divide them into uh, later it's like the column diameter and so on it, it's just the way that we normally would input um, information um, you'd very rarely put in a column radius but column diameter for example is a, a common way of doing it and the same with the thickness of elements anyway I digress so I'll put a panel div divider by 2 into there pop that into there so that is going to set up how far across I'm going to move this um, I'll do a move and the the lines will come in through here and in through here shift key down both coming through now I'm going to, to do an extrude and the distance of the extrude will be the distance of the floor to floor less the floor thickness because the CLT panels will go from the top of the floor to the underside of the floor below because the, the floor travels through okay let's get that down there as well So that's the the height that we're going to do it. We'll put a, a Z vector through there and we'll pop that into there. Uh, that'll be the direction, that's the geometry. So you can see here there's the fins and then I'm going to extrude the the fins again by the width that we've set up here if we come across to there so that's the th dimension through there so it's just taking a bit of a time to think about it so I'm going to turn on my my floors. Uh, here we go. Sorry, preview. So now it seems to have worked, but there's a few issues with this, and a couple of of big ones, I guess, is this issue here. Now because the floor is raking backwards and we're extru extruding from the floor up we're actually cutting through what will be the facade 
um, as it goes up so that's not ideal as well the, the columns are right on the face of the facade it's giving us no tolerance for um, joining the mullions or anything so and if I just spy through here and we've also got an issue that we've got more columns than floors so there's three three problems with this and we're going to have to figure out how to resolve this so we've got too many columns we've got this problem of the floors coming through the facade the columns coming through the facade and the offset so I might uh, come back to this uh, routine in the next video and just figure out how we're going to resolve that